Reflet d'Afrique Télévision, le flash info du Broken News. Over 140 candidates nationwide embarked on the written session of the GC ordinary and advanced level exams on Thursday, August 6. In all the 805 centers across the country, candidates citing for the GC ordinary level started with Economics Paper 1 and 2, while those of the advanced level embarked on the journey with Geology Paper 1 and Economics Paper 1. In Yaoundé, the exams went on smoothly, as uh, was the case nationwide with no map practice recorded. Usually written in the month of June, the 2020 GC exams came late this year as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic that forced the suspension of classes for over two months to only resume in June. Thus, the exams are taking place under strict respect of the COVID-19 barrier measures, as in the case of uh, at the government bilingual high school Yaoundé, where just a maximum of 24 candidates are allowed per examination hall. The wearing of face masks is equally obligatory for both candidates and invigilators at the center, while hand washing buckets and sanitizers are placed at the entrance of each exam hall. Cameroon was proudly represented in Beyoncé's new film titled Black is King, released recently in celebration of the African continent. Much has been made on of the featuring of artist Salatiel in the song Water, as well as his presence in the movie, but two other Cameroonians flew the nation's flag high in the project that brought together some of the continent's best acts. Actress Constance Ijuma was one of the stars of the movie, who is well known within the Hollywood corridors after equally starring for Black Panther. Constance, whose reputation has grown in the past years, proud to flaunt a picture of herself and Beyoncé on a set during the movie Sipping Tea. Another Cameroonian who made his mark on the movie is fashion designer Iman Aisi, who was used as one of the major fashion designers to provide his collection to the set made up mainly of African actors. The collection of designs were equally flaunted by Beyoncé on her website, giving the designer who has grown in reputation in recent years, more prominence and visibility. Cameroon's head of state, Paul Bia, has finally made good of his promise to offer modern houses to the 22 indomitable lions who featured in the quarter-final of the 1990 World Cup in Italy over a month after the 30th anniversary of their exceptional cause in the competition. The news that went round a few days ago was officially announced by the state's TV channel CRTV Thursday, August 6, thus confirming the head of state's decision to offer houses to players of the national team, thanks uh, to which Cameroon became the first African nation uh, to play to the quarterfinals in a World Cup competition. According to reports, the players were informed about the good news by their teammate, Jose Mila, itinerant ambassador at the presidency of the republic. One of the beneficiaries thanks the head of state for keeping his promise, a gesture he described as an acknowledgement of their contribution to the growth of Cameroon's football. After their exceptional course at the 1990 World Cup competition in Italy, the head of state had promised to offer them each a modern house to congratulate them for the exploit. The promise is thus fulfilled 30 years after when three of these players, including Luis Paul Bete, Benjamin Massing and recently Stephen Tatao, the 10th captain of the squad, have joined their ancestors after living in what many have considered as misery. Reflet d'Afrique Télévision, le flash info, the breaking news.